Hey guys, I'm Kobe Dev, and I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own pause menu in Godot. Now, the project I'm using in this tutorial actually is covered in a previous tutorial, which is a procedural terrain generation tutorial. It's just a base project. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to open your project, your main scene, and create a user interface. We'll name this pause menu. And after that, you can add a panel container. And then inside of that, you'll put a VBox container. And after adding this VBox container, you're gonna add three buttons. You can do as many buttons as you want. And we'll go resume, restart, and we'll also do quit. And once we've got our scene sorted out, we're gonna select the pause menu node. And it's very important that we go down to process and we're gonna select always. This means that even if the scene is paused, we can still interact with the buttons, which is what a pause menu does. Another node we wanna add is an animation player. And finally, we're gonna also add a color rectangle. This is gonna be our blur. And if it appears in front, we're gonna just shift that so it appears behind all of that. And in the material, we're gonna do new shader material. Click on that, click on shader, new shader. I'm just gonna provide you with this code, but basically the LOD refers to how much blur you're going to use, and you can actually change the parameter here. Now, once you've got that done, we're gonna create an animation in the animation player. We'll just name it blur and we're gonna set the duration to around a 0.3. So first off, we are gonna create a keyframe for the level of detail. You can hit the Bezier curves or not. And then at the very end, we're gonna create a nice level of detail. Around 0.8 should look good. It's hard to see because it's just a blank screen here, but you will see it in the actual project. And if you wanna make it look extra cool, you can also head over to the panel container here Go down to visibility and then set the initial modulate to zero and then the final modulate to be completely white. Now we've got all that set up, we can actually add our pause menu script and then we're gonna create a few functions. First one is gonna be called resume and what we're gonna be doing in it is gonna go get tree.paused equals false. And on the other hand, we're gonna create a function pause and it's gonna be get tree dot paused equals true. And then finally, we need to detect if the escape key is actually pressed. How we're gonna do that is we head up to project settings here and we head over to input map. I've already added an escape key, but you can add a new action by pressing that and you'll see it just popped up there. And then the right plus icon here, it will listen for an input on your keyboard. And if you just press escape, you can map it really easily like that. So we're gonna create a function and if input dot is action just pressed escape and get tree dot pause equals false. This means we haven't opened the pause menu yet. We wanna hit pause. On the other hand, if input dot action is pressed, escape and get tree dot paused equals true then we're going to hit resume simple so far so now we need to actually connect our buttons so they do something so first we'll head over to our resume button connect pressed to the pause menu script going to connect restart as well going to connect quit as well and you can just set up the functionality however you want with any of your buttons in this case resume we're going to call resume Pretty obvious. On restart, we're gonna go get tree dot reload current scene. It's gonna restart the scene. And on quit press, we're gonna go get tree dot quit. In the resume and pause, the reasons why I put them in functions, even though they're just one line, is because you can manage all the animations and any extra logic quite easily in just this simple function. We're gonna go animation player dot play backwards and then the name of our animation. And in pause, we're gonna do the opposite. So it's not gonna be play backwards, it's just gonna be play. So let's hit save, save the scene wherever you want. Head over to main and drop the pause menu in your 2D scene. One thing you wanna also add is you wanna add a canvas layer. And as a child of that, pause menu. What this will do is wherever the player goes, the canvas layer will just draw the pause menu on top. And one more thing I always forget to do is to call your functions. We've got all these functions, but nothing is calling test escape. So we're gonna go to process test escape. Another thing I forgot to say was when it's ready, you wanna play the reset function and also on restart pressed, you just wanna call resume as well. And if we open it up again, click restart, restart works. I open up again and hit resume and it resumes again and everything is all good. 
So hopefully you enjoyed that simple tutorial. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.